Yeah, uh, I don't know what, man, I'm, I'm telling you, like, this whole camera, the cannon is just awful. Chuck it up. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, <clears throat> are you guys still able to chat in the other stream, or? I don't think you can, can you? Sorry about that, guys. I, I don't know what happened. There. It's so dumb. But anyways, I will continue with the stream here. And hopefully... The chat box is off, too. Are you able to switch the chat feed to the new stream? I'm trying to do that right now. Let's see if I can reset it. There it is. All right. Yeah, I completely lost 40, 50 people. Sorry, sorry everyone. stream chat is closed okay cool. yeah sorry about that I, it, it's just very finicky yeah um so the vita cannon there's a bug to it and i'm using a uh, beta plugin that you can stream your dslr camera on obs it's very finicky but that's like the only camera i have to show the vita Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see me here. I'll probably just do that for the next stream. 
But yeah, all of our plugins seems to work. We have the per battery percentage at the top now. And yeah. I'm not seeing his PS1 games on here that he had. Oh, he's gonna have to take a look. They look like PSN stores. to finish this up by installing a bunch of VPKs now. Install adrenaline first. Yeah, sorry about that, everyone. Damn stream just uh, failed on me there. Nice. The 6.61 firmware has not been installed. Let's download by pressing X. Very good, very good. to install that one plugin.
think he's in Pacific time. But he can always change it. Nice. Adrenaline is working just fine. And I'll move down the line installing these plugins, or I'm sorry, not plugins, but these, uh, oh, I have to do EKG installer. Let's do that next. Phone's working. Making sure. But he has none. That's good. Going to install PSM runtime 1.00. Good. Moving on to version 2.00. Making sure that is 2.00. Yep. Okay, spam package. And finally, version 2.01. settings now we're at 2.01 PlayStation Mobile PSM runtime nice let's move on to installing uh, shark food install this okay and this is going to give us that libshack suprx file which is our shader compiler for those ports that we like to play. And it should do everything on its own. All set there. No longer need these apps, but they're there just in case. didn't get any notification didn't know you were back sorry about that yeah I, I don't know this whole YouTube notifications is pretty bad really sorry about that the stream just kind of quit on me there it froze and, and there was no way for me to switch back but I'm finishing up this console I'm installing the latest and greatest apps we just installed adrenaline 
uh, we did the PSM runtime update. So when he goes and installs ports, he will be all set. And I'm just going to go down the line here and add the, I guess, the essential applications that everyone should have, like Vita Homebrew Browser. Hey, I, <laughs> you got to stop calling me that. <laughs> I have 10 GTA games on my Vita. What? Here's Vita Homebrew Browser version 0.92 from Brewology. And I gotta make sure this works. So we're gonna install this bad boy. soccer on Sunday this past Sunday I haven't played in like two years and or it's been like a year whole year and I'm so sore the initial setup for Vita homebrew browser takes a long time and a lot of people just give up when they first start the application because they think it's frozen it's on a black screen but that's actually very normal Is there a plugin that allows streaming only from this Vita? Streaming to Twitch only from Vita? No, there really isn't. You have to have it connected to OBS somehow. <clears throat> yeah, because it's seeing it as a video camera. The plugin that we're using is, is telling OBS, hey, this is a, a camera. This is not... It's not saying this is a console, this is a game that we want to stream. It's it's telling OBS, it's tricking OBS into seeing it as a camera through a lens or something. So OBS is still doing its thing here. It usually takes a long time. I'm hoping that it works because I do have the stable VPK backed up and it works too. GTA 1, 2, 3, Advance, London, Chinatown, Liberty, Fight City, Vice City, and wow, pretty nice collection. Is the audio from the music or my microphone too loud or is it just fine? Yep, yeah, still waiting on the Vita here. The final steps of setting up these apps do take, I think they take like another hour, like getting RetroArch, Adrenaline, Vita Homebrew Browser, all these other apps properly installed. And uh, through the service I provide, I make sure that these apps are fully working. That way they don't come across any problems. And I'm just not like, hey, here's the console jailbroken broken with the SD2 Vita. I'd like to throw in some apps while I'm at it. So they don't have issues uh, when they're using their console. Yeah, it's taken a long time. I only own two Vitas right now. I own a uh, PS Vita 1000 and 2000. One's over there, one's right here, the one I worked on yesterday. So I'm guessing it's an on-go on them. So I'm guessing it's a no-go on them Vitas for 350 for both. Oh, hey, Garage Door. I'm sorry, man. I uh, didn't respond to your message. Um, I do have a GPU here. But I'm asking a little more than that. Here it is, it's a GTX 1060. It works just fine. Beautiful GPU. Thinking of selling it, I need a change. Uh, I didn't respond because I was uh, I was getting my my video ready and I was working on that and it was getting really late, so I was really trying hard to get that done. I 
recently modded my PSP to slim downgrade from 3.73 to 3.60. It works fine. Nice. Congrats, Antonio. I'll try Facebook Market. The Vita is the reason I still homebrew. The Vita is the reason I still homebrew. I was... See? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You see how long it took? It works, you guys. You just have to be patient. That initial boot up to Vita Homebrew Browser takes a long time because it's going to out to the online and it's like trying to get everything compiled. It's like, okay, here's the list. I'm grabbing the list and it's working. Nice. So my man now can go in here, download his emulators, download, you know, the utilities, any stuff he wants to mess around with, you know, there you go. Boom. Let's go back and hit it one more time. The Vita is the perfect retro console portable. Yeah, it is better than in Burn. How much bud let's work something out this is this is kind of expensive man this is a limited edition galax uh gpu uh, it's quite expensive now because they don't make them anymore i'll message you on details on it uh, later on today but yeah see now homebrew browser opens up quickly very good so yeah that first launch into it takes forever but once you start using it more it, it's very snappy and i got the the snappy version i i backed that sucker up i need one for my son's build he says uh yeah that was pretty quick then he told me i should get a youtube user the vita is the reason i still homebrew when i break the wii and nearly broke my ps3 but a guy from ps vita homebrew scene and and me had the same issue and he helped. Hey Rob, I'm having a problem with PKGJ when downloading games. I get an error all the time. I need a PS4 Pro cheap so that I may mod it. I have a question. After the Vita store closes, will it still work PKGJ? Yes, it will still work. Can we do a trade plus cash? Let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really looking to buy Vitas right now or trade. I really need some cash <laughs> to pay my bills, so that's uh, where I'm at right now. I wouldn't be interested in uh, getting any more Vitas right now. It's it's just too expensive. Uh, my bills is what I'm trying to say. My bills are crazy. A little bit of music here going. Okay, homebrew Vita homebrew browser is working. Let's move on to the next application here. I have a question. Okay, that was no. Let's set up the bubble manager. And the adrenaline bubble manager will let you Create bubbles on your PS Vita, that way you don't have to go into Adrenaline every single time, select your game and then go into it. The Adrenaline Bubble Manager will create that bubble and start that game and go through that entire process for you right away. So you don't have to go through and you just save some time, I guess. Uh, let's see, it's another one here, 2 Vita. Retrocharge. Maybe I can pay your bills. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I'll 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 uh, message you uh, later on today, sir. Uh, I'll make sure to do that. I'm sorry for not responding to you. Do you know the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play? It would be nice to mod it. Yes, I do have one. 
I made a video on it. Here it is. Isn't that cool? I still have to work on this. I got, I got a lot of videos to make on that. I make real PS2 hardware output 1080i and 1080p PS2 games. Cool. I'll be back. Need an oil change. All right, man. Good luck. What's up, radiation port? Man, you guys are awesome. I haven't banned anyone yet. <laughs> I, sh I should knock on wood and not jinx it. <laughs> when will we get a PS2 emulator for the PS Vita? It would be really cool. I don't think it will ever happen. PS2 is very beefy and we may never see that. PS2 is just too much to emulate or a, or a handheld console like that. It's not that, um, it doesn't have very good specs, so it's not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. Those, co those retro consoles are very, very powerful, like the Xbox, original Xbox, um, you know, even the N64, Diatolus 64 for the PS Vita still... There's, there's still a few games that won't run 100%. Not a few, but there's a bunch of them that don't run very well. But happy to see that some do run at 60 frames. It were like they're going on the right path there, figuring that out. Maybe one day, I don't know. Can you do a video that explains how to install emulators? Yeah, of course. Plan on doing that here very soon. I'm gonna start charging this and start working on it. I have to do that. Oh man. Oh, I'm really sore. Retroarch takes a long time to install. Yeah, no problem, Radiation. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> PS2 can barely emulate on a thousand dollar Ryzen handhelds. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I don't know how Sony did it, but they did it. But you can play them on your PS3. So you have a PS3 you can mod it then yeah then you're looking really good it's nice to see you're the only one that cares about the PS Vita man <laughs> thanks I really love the console a lot it's it should have never been thrown away like it should you know the way Sony just abandoned it such a beautiful console so much potential and I just don't get it I honestly don't get it Let's see here, PSP Homebrew Browser. I'm gonna continue to install these apps. These are gonna be very easy to go through here. We're gonna install PKGJ. KG, let's see, one menu. I'm not sure if he wants this stuff on here. But I'll 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 install it. He can take a look at it and see if he wants it, and then if he doesn't, he could just delete them.
Robles Jr., Modern Vintage Gamer, and PS Vita at 2 a.m. I wish I could give you money through the stream, but I'm broke. Oh, don't worry about it, man. No, you being here is more than enough, so thank you. Do you foresee Sony making another handheld due to the success of the Switch? I heard rumors of it, but Sony did say after the PS Vita that they were done. So they said they were not going to pursue the handheld stuff. Kind of stupid because there's a lot of people that love on the go gaming. A lot of people. So I don't see why Sony doesn't jump on it. Where are you from, Robles? I'm from um, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. <laughs> Back then, I used to be very proud of that. You know, now I question if it's even good to say that now with what has happened. Uh, not not very uh, proud of what happened. Not not very happy about that, but. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. But I can assure you that that's not how we are. Like, the majority of us are not like that. Uh, you would hear the Minnesota nice <laughs> compared to these other states. We're kind of known for that, but I don't know if we will ever be like that ever again. App manager. But my parents are from El Salvador. There, it's a small country down below Mexico. It's a Latin country. Um, my parents came up here to America during their little war, civil war, and I was born and raised here in, in the United States. We want a PSP3. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I think I have everything installed. Let me install switch view so sad lots of people like my friend thinks there would be a PS Vita 2 yeah the smartphones are the ruin of portable gaming yeah they are <laughs> I agree I've always loved handhelds currently got PSI Vita and switch looking to get a 3ds soon All right, all of our apps are now installed. I'm going to make sure that these are working. This is one of the latest releases of Tube Vita. It's a application that lets you watch YouTube. And it works, it actually works. Nice. Oh man, we're gonna have to. What's going on here? <laughs> I don't want to watch no ads. Just making sure it works. Uh, PSP Homebrew Browser sure that works once we set up retroarch that's gonna be the end of this stream so everything looks like it's working just fine we have our PSP games utilities this is a really cool application for adrenaline users you can install these directly to your adrenaline folder so we have all the emulators here well, not a lot of them, but there's there's a few. Right out. Just depends on what he's planning on doing, so I'm not gonna touch that. Uh, custom themes manager. Make sure that's working. Do you know when I can get an SD2 Vita or something? Where do you know where I can get? Uh, try Amazon. Amazon has the best. I'll send you a link right now. I'll send you an affiliate link.
Amazon is the best spot unless you're in a different country where it's um you're not able to get it. There we go. It's really cheap. Go back here. There we go. Nice. Okay, so custom themes manager is working. Here he can download custom themes that he you know whatever he likes he can just install it. Too much anime though. It's like black. I love anime, but damn, every theme on here is like anime. Drives me insane. That's why I stopped making my videos on like the latest custom theme releases on this. It's it's too much. And, and some of them is just too much going on. Like I can't see my apps. You got some freaking hentai stuff on here. It's like, okay, people are very uh, <laughs> strange. The switch view is a UI. You, you're, you're using the switch UI on the PS Vita. See that? Pretty cool. But if you go into settings, it just takes you to <laughs> there. And you can actually boot this up automatically with the plugin. And then you just tell the plugin to re redirect you to this. And every time you reboot your system, it will go directly into the Switch UI, which is pretty awesome. There's some other UIs too that are nice. Like I, I like this one. This is really clean. The girl one punch cover is really beautiful. I have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, watch that later on. <laughs> Here's the other UI pretty slick I'm gonna have to take a break guys I'll be right back it's just gonna take a few minutes so just give me uh, like five I'll be right back guys
All right, sorry, everyone. I'm back. I had to take a break there. Yeah, this is another UI, pretty cool. And now we're going to make sure easy VPK works. This is just like a soft, be uh, a homebrew browser, just in case, uh, Vita Homebrew Browser doesn't work, he can go in here and download whatever he needs and he can search it. I, I I see that the search in this app doesn't work though. Every time you search for something, it crashes. Um, they have to fix that because there's no categories, there's nothing. It's just like a list of a bunch of stuff. But it's always nice to have a backup just in case and along with easy plugin too. These I recommend everyone getting just in case those other apps, the main apps are not working. All right, so. Made me stream and upload. NGL. No, who NGL. I still want to put on my PS Vita is outrun 2006 so I can get it with PKG. It's working. It's working. All right, let's test out PKGJ. What is the plugin for Switch View to show on boot? Uh, it is called. Give me one second. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. Let's refresh. download something here real quick I'm gonna take off the Alright, so I'm going to download two different games. Just do a little quick test. Let's do Z-Run. Now Z-Run's firmware version is 3.60. It requires 3.15. Your firmware is recent enough. Game not installed. Let's install game and patch by pressing X. With PS Vita games, once you hit that install, you can go back home, look at your notifications, and it's now downloading very good and you need those plugins that I showed earlier I think it was the last stream or the last stream and what happens with the PS Vita uh, games is that it will create the plugins gonna create a fake license and that way you can run your games if you don't have the proper license like let's say I grab this game and throw it into my Vita, it's not gonna work because I, if I don't have that license, it's not gonna run properly. Uh, there is a way to mask that license number. That way you can use it in any console and back them up with various uh, other Vitas. Uh, I have a outrun ISO on my PC, but I don't know how to convert it to VPK to put it on my Vita. Do you not have adrenaline? You don't need to convert it to VPK. You can't really do that. Is there any Vita that can't be downgraded? I'm looking to buy one, but I'm afraid that it might have been manufactured with firmware over 3.64. There was a console I messed around with a couple weeks ago. I was I was talking about that on my the last stream that, that closed. It the uh, the factor firmware is 3.65. Luckily, we were able to... Thanks, Walter Wilson, for the sub. Luckily, we were able to downgrade it. A 3.65. On adrenaline. Working very good. 
for you to tell it, it's really hard to tell um most japanese consoles the ps the the ones i would be worried about is the is the 2000 the slim models those are the ones that you need to worry about but the 1000s i wouldn't worry too much Kim Van putin just subscribed thank you guys for subbing it's a weird notifications like it will start to get all of my subs all at once it's really weird it yeah it's gonna start doing that now sorry guys i'm not touching anything either it's just doing it all all right can you have that cool wallpaper from pc on vita retro arch uh i think so yeah you can is there any vita that can okay that question let's run z run Now it's uh, officially installing on this console. So this is just a test. We're going to test this and Adrenaline. We're going to download a PSP game after. My favorite PSP game would be, oh, there's quite a few. God of War, Crisis Core, Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, we have, uh luxor i have poker outrun need for speed fast and the furious initial d uh ghost in the shell there's a lot of them damn look at that Woo! let's go play what do i just have to run jump okay Dang. Press the slide. What the hell is this game? Oh, did it not? Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> he died with two hits to the car. Okay, it's working. Let's go back and install a PSP game. <sighs> so what I just copy the Outrun PS Vita ISO to my PS Vita and so it's a it's a PS Vita game or is it a PSP game? Let's uncheck these. Go PSP games. I'm gonna go down to Luxor. There it is. It's a really small game. Now with PSP and PS1 games, you have to have this window open. PS Vita stays on on PKGJ. Has to go through the entire downloading process. If it closes or it goes to sleep on you, it will fail, and you and, and the uh, downloaded game is going to be corrupt on your console and it's not going to finish doing its thing. So there's a really nice library of PSP games on here. So. Very nice to see that. And what's great about this is once you have Adrenaline set up, it's going to be in that library. Let's go to Adrenaline. You guys see that I just hit the download. That's it. I didn't go into Vita Shell. I didn't go into any folders, move anything around. And it should be in our games folder. So it, PKGJ knows where to throw it in throws it in there there it is oh yeah what's up oh there's this ps1 games i was so worried <laughs> there it is so these are the games i don't know if he bought them but they were already installed on his memory card so i guess we just needed to 
get adrenaline set up for him and automatically they show up here so that's great awesome all right that's one less thing i have to worry about or that's the only thing i was worried about so here are the games that he has when i first started so there's luxor just downloaded from pkgj and this is what's great about the vita man once you have it all set up it's just a blast it's a blast so yeah he can delete that game if he wants and I'm just gonna move on here to the final step of this whole setup is going to be retro arch this is going to take a very long time so if you guys have any questions please let me know i'll answer them once this is all finished setting up i will end the stream and and uh, we'll try to do it again tomorrow Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go to our online updater. We're going to update our assets. This is going to take I like to do it through the application and not get it from online because I want to make sure that it's actually doing its thing, connecting to the internet, downloading it, extracting it. I want to see that happen. You know? I don't want to do it manually through through the PC. I want my console to do it. Nice to see that it's doing it pretty quickly. Okay, so, um, waiting on GP2000 to arrive in two. PS Vita game. Sorry, it's a PSP game. Okay, so if it's a PSP game, what you want to do is go to. If your Vita is already hacked, modded, whatever you want to call it, uh, go into your Vita shell and go into the UXO folder and you should see the PSP EMU folder. It's going to be hard to see there, but PSP EMU folder, open that up and you'll see an ISO folder. That's where you're going to throw your PSP games. Throw your all your ISOs in there and it should show up in Adrenaline. Now you'll have Outrun on there. What is this dude putting on it? The... Oh okay. Thanks man. Don't get don't get banned now. I'm just game folder on Adrenaline. Yep. What plugin should I install for the switch to show online? Oh yeah I'm sorry. Uh so that one is called the take a look here don't remember it's just so much so many different plugins hey thanks radiation port i appreciate you thank you thank you so much uh it's called auto boot by rene Gatamonte version 1.2 but this is only going to work for 3.60 and 3.65 as mentioned there in the notes this plugin simply auto launches an application right after enzo startup like auto start used to do on psp so it's called auto boot plugin and that's going to help you uh launch you to your application that you want to do can you have custom live wallpaper on vita live area you know i've been searching really hard for that high and low and still i have not seen that how come we can have that on our psp but not on a ps vita and people still can't figure that out and that's what's a little frustrating with that custom themes manager is a lot of those themes are anime and they're just using basic wallpaper you know they, they do a little bit of art on the icons which is cool but I want to see something very dynamic. I want to see something that that really moves. I want I want something to drain my damn battery. You know what I mean? Like I want some flair to it. Like I want crazy shooting stars. I don't know something. Hey, Rusi gamer, thank you. Hello, bro, biggest fan. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a fan of you for being here. Thank you so much. I bought a laptop controller. Laptop controller 
it want a pin and I don't have I know I don't have what to do now hmm. I don't know what you mean by a laptop computer you need a pin oh you need a code like a, a um, unlock code or something Mark Potter says thank you so much You're welcome as the assets update for retroarch <sighs> I had like five hours of sleep because I was so excited to stream today and, and work on this guy's uh, Vita and to play some Warcraft because it's a uh, reset day. <laughs> Making my. One of the most expensive consoles, guys, is the PS Vita. You won't believe it, but it's the PS Vita TV. It's getting very expensive. It's getting stupid expensive. What are you going to do in the next stream? I will do the same thing. Um, I'm going to work on one beta right now after this stream. I'm just gonna do this offline. And then tomorrow I plan on working on the PS Vita 2000 model. So today we're working on the 1000 and tomorrow we're gonna work on 2000 model. Gonna be a lot of fun. Do these two. Uh, this was requested to downgrade and install the. This guy went all out, man. This guy, he get he sent me two. He sent me two Vitas. He's like, I want both of them done. <laughs> he has sent me two SD2 Vita adapters and check this out: 512 gigabytes one for each console so here's one and here's the other 512 gigabytes that's that's a beautiful size right there for ps vita you better stop spamming or i'm gonna i'm gonna start uh i'm gonna Put you on time out there, buddy. Just, you don't have to uh, spam. I I'm, I'm, uh, I'm answering questions as we go here, so you don't have to spam. I'm gonna start deleting your comments because it's uh, it's annoying. So he said, uh, I don't I don't know what you're talking about with the laptop controller with the pin. I I don't know what you mean by that. So you're gonna have to explain in better detail. Um. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Buying a Vita is like investing on a Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm trying to find a cheap PS TV, but damn, that's hard. Yeah, it is. It's pretty difficult. I think some of us are going to have to just jump on that price of $200 for used. And I want a white one, you know. I want a white one, but man, if I could get a white, if I could get a PS TV, I could stream at 4K. Wouldn't that be nice? Also, I can't find the plugin for Switch View Boot. Stop spamming. 
I paid $10. Did you get it? Wait, you sent $10? Mm, I didn't get a donation notification here. There's 30 people here, man. Just talk normally. <laughs> Dante. I'm looking for a modded PS Vita Slim. It's going to be expensive if you look for a modded PS Vita. You're, you're looking at almost $300 for that. Did you do a video for the YouTube app? Yes, I did. I remember seeing a big overstock bin of PS TVs at Walmart in 2017 for 25. Wish I wasn't broke. Yeah, man. You ain't kidding. Jeez. Everyone should have jumped on that. All right, so the retro arch is set up almost. I'm going to do the final touches on this thing. And we're going to go to my display capture. I'm just updating the retro arch uh, theme files so when he installs his ROMs and scans his ROMs he'll get those icons and those uh, those nice playlists set up the new YouTube app is not really good it's basically a web-based app with some extra function yeah I mean it's better than nothing I mean uh, before we didn't have anything so I rather have that than nothing and if you did use the web browser it wasn't really functional it was like really buggy so with this little app it kind of gives us a little bit more boost in how different is the process between 1000 2000 model for modding there's not really much of a difference except for setting up your sd2 vita adapter that's pretty much it why the hell do i have three how was my audio guys is it any good my audio from the microphone, is it like weird? I just took off some filters because I think it's a little strange. <clears throat> is it difficult for jailbreak official memory card to transfer to another PS Vita official memory card? Because if Vita shall have to install it to the new Vita. No, it, it wouldn't be too difficult to transfer one memory card to another. Just make sure you format the new one properly. <laughs> All right, that's good. Just make it sure I had all these filters on. I'm not sure why. <sighs> okay, so we're done here. one more time are you lucky underscore tiger can you show it in your next stream um I don't really have another memory card to do that so I, I want to be able to really show case that uh, radiation what, what are you talking about for that username
There's our overclock plugin. There we go. Let's check out Retro Arch. I'm gonna have to take a nap here. I'm very exhausted. In PSN, yeah, that's that's me. Yep. Honestly, I've been really disappointed with the PS Vita emulation for everything except PSP, PS1, and MGBA. Just order one of those premium metal retro handhelds for the rest of my ROMs. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of people working on this stuff, you know. There's only a few developers that are putting the effort into the, some of this emulation. It's pretty difficult to get that stuff running too. Um, some of those other uh, consoles, I mean, I I wouldn't make it as like my main to run like ROMs and stuff. It just depends. Some some of those are pretty good, um, but the most part, they're very cheap. <laughs> they're very cheap built, and they don't re they don't last long. That's the problem with those, uh, those like random consoles that are like non-branded Chinese knockoff stuff. There's nothing wrong with it, but I think the longevity is just not there for me. All right, looks good, man. This is running just fine. Awesome. Perfect. All right, guys. So that is it for the stream. Uh, Anthony, if you're watching or if you're going to watch this, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work on your console. And if you guys are interested in getting your console modded by me, I do provide this service where I add all these applications. I downgrade it, install Enzo. I update the SD2 Vita for you, format the card, everything needed. Uh, for you to start, you know, playing on your console right away and installing all the games that you want. And the website to that is RoblesJr.com. It should be in the description below if you're interested in purchasing that. So, also, I wanted to let you guys know that with every console that I mod, I do throw in a free lanyard. Not a big deal, but... Uh, let's see. So with every uh, service or every console, I throw in a, a free lanyard just as a as a thank you. <laughs> so yeah, very excited to get this shipped out to my guy Anthony. And it was a pleasure to have you guys here on the stream and a pleasure to work on this console and have it all set up for him. So yeah, you guys have any, have any final questions before I go here and I can... Uh, Get a little bit of sleep. <laughs> hey, what's up? Did you already start modding? Yeah, I, fi I just finished it. <laughs> I was streaming for several hours now. Uh, the first stream cut off towards the end, uh, but I got most of the modded modding done there. And uh, yeah, it was good. Bro, please give me a PSP. No, I can't do that, man. Uh, hope some Android devs get interested in it. The flow could use some backup. Yeah, he needs he needs some help, man. <laughs> a lot of those guys. Randy got a Monte. They all 
It's a whole niche. You pick the right one and add a few customizations. It ends up being a nice experience. Correct. Are you archiving your streams? I'm I'm having them uh, uploaded on the channel so you can go back and watch them. There's, there's going to be a playlist for uh, past streams if you're wanting to uh, watch them again, I guess. Rest in peace. I wanted to see the mod. Bible thump. <laughs> How much is your service? Uh, I usually charge 60 bucks with $8 shipping. So it's like around 70. Um, it takes me several hours to do it. So it's it's like 30 bucks an hour or something like that. And then I charge $8 because of shipping. But the only thing is you would have to ship it to me. And that's another charge you would have to do on your own. But the $8 shipping that I charge is to ship it back to you, right? So that's what I charge and uh, I, I think it's a fair price for what I do and I don't want to charge too much or too little, you know, because it does take a lot of time and, and uh, uh, making sure that everything works. Uh, sometimes it takes me longer than two hours because I come across so many problems like the first two consoles I worked on, I just kept getting problems after problems, but I managed to uh, fix them and it took longer than like a day so can you download crisis core um so the only game i downloaded anthony was just z run and luxor just to test it out but other than that you would have to either get it online or go through pkgj yourself and download it but we could take a look and see if it's on here um I have not really checked that game. And I don't think it's on here, to be honest with you. Oops, what happened? Yeah, it's not on here. So you would have to either get it online or somewhere. And that, that's one thing I don't really do with my service is put games on here. Like, uh, what? A, a previous customer of mine wanted me to put all the Grand Theft Auto games and I just I can't do that you know that's that's just too much um, you know I don't want to get in trouble either so I'm just kind of getting you started <laughs> getting you started with the modded and then after that you can do whatever you want so it's up to you whether you want to uh, you know download the whole library of PKGJ or download a bunch of ISOs online and it's up to you so yeah, thanks Anthony. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to your response on when you get it. And I'm gonna get it shipped out today. Uh, and you will see tracking uploaded on your order details on Shopify. So you should get an email from me. And I'll follow up with another email uh, talking about some things that you should not do <laughs> with your console and just uh, just some things to keep in mind when you're going through your console, especially after it's modded like this. So we just have to be sure that you don't come across any problems or you make a mistake on doing something which you shouldn't. But yeah, everything's good, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by on the stream. We'll stream a lot more here uh, this week. I have two more consoles to work on. And I think we're just going to stream the one here because I have to get on this one and I'm gonna have to take a break and rest up but yeah i'll catch you guys on the next stream thank you so much for stopping by i'll catch you